government and stakeholders in the building and construction sector are scaling up efforts to address the recent building collapse in some states in the country. The Nigerian Institution of Civil Engineers, in partnership with a construction company, has now introduced a new building material to ensure better structures in the country. Now, this next report tells us more. This is a four- and five-bedroom apartment constructed with polystyrene a new building technology used to form walls and floor panels. This technology is introduced by a construction company, Monumental Works Limited, based in Lagos, Nigeria. The managing director of the firm, Femi Ogundari, enumerates the advantages of this technology in building construction. We have used polystyrene materials to form wall panels, floor panels, and used to construct the cladings for our buildings, as well as the suspended floor slabs. What do we do is that, you know, for the floors, we have the polystyrene forming the, um, the hollow part within the ribs, onto which we put steel and then pour concrete. Now, in the walls, which is something you can see the naked wall panels here, we have um, the polystyrene forming the fills in between the mesh. The mesh is galvanized steel, just to reduce the possibility of rusting. Now, we spray concrete onto this, and then it gives you a wall with two sides in reinforced concrete. Hence, and therefore, you have a reinforced concrete wall with a polystyrene-filled core. What that does for us is that, first of all, the polystyrene itself is very lightweight, so reduce the weight on the building. Secondly, by the time you have a concrete wall on both sides, a first concrete wall on both sides, it increases the strength of the building. Now, if you see the mesh we have around here, yeah, the mesh is continuous all around the building. So the possibility of a breakthrough in this direction is very, very minimized. The failure, is very, very, failure of the wall is reduced to the barest minimum. This innovative technology has also drawn the attention of the Nigerian Institution of Civil Engineers, who are praising the initiative. There is a new technology um, uh, that is in construction industry today called expanded polystyrene uh, EPS. Uh, it's a material that has so many benefits uh, when it comes to uh, project delivery in the construction industry. And as part of our um, uh, uh, keeping our members current and up to date on innovations in the construction industry, we decided to do two things. Firstly, to have a technical presentation on EPS, which was yesterday, and then immediate follow-up of a site visit of a typical project where this is extensively deployed. When you're using it for construction, let's start from foundation. You are reducing the cost of a foundation because you are using a lightweight material. And at the end of the day, by the time you are finishing a building, you can conveniently be able to save about 50% using conventional method now. For example, now with less than 3 million, you can do a bungalow on a solid ground that you don't need foundations and all that for. The, the difference between this uh, material in question and the regular sandcrete block that we make use of lies in the difference in, in its weight. This material has light weight, but as you know, compared with a regular sandcrete block and concrete, it is much more lighter in weight than the other ones. Uh, the panels are adequately reinforced, you know, on either side, you know, though with a wire mesh, and then the covering is made of uh, uh, concrete materials. You know, so ultimately, uh, it will stand the test of time to some extent. In the past few weeks, Nigeria has recorded at least four building collapse cases, with Lagos taking the biggest hit. To remedy this situation, the federal government has charged building contractors and developers to follow every laid down rules while executing their duties or be prepared to face the full route of the law. Adesha Waudushoga, TV360, Nigeria.